We thank each and every one of you for everything which you are doing in this inexorable, inevitable move towards 100% renewable energy by the year 2050. And so we thank you all because you are the ones who are making this happen at the grassroots in the United States. In, in every one of your areas, as I'm just looking at hydropower and marine energy and biodiesel and uh, the passive building standards to wind and solar uh, and, uh, uh, and all the way down the line, uh, we are winning because on every one of these issues there's one thing that separates us from the fossil fuel industry. We are right and they are wrong. And what has happened is that we have been able to knock down these barriers to entry in state after state across the country uh, in order to make it possible for the renewable electricity standards to continue to drive this revolution, to have tax breaks at a federal level to drive this revolution, to have national appliance standards that drive this uh, revolution, to have national fuel economy standards that drive this revolution. And what has happened finally is that we're now giving incentives to the competition which the fossil fuel industry has received for a hundred years. And once you begin to level the playing field, what has happened is that we now have 360,000 employees in the wind and solar industry. We will have 500,000 employees by the year 2020. We have 3 million employees in the clean energy sector in totality. In 2016, there were 50,000 new employees added to the solar sector alone. 50,000, equaling the total number of coal miners in the United States. And that happened in one year with the solar industry. And we have to work to make sure that this only gets better. In 2016, there were 137,000 roofers and electricians, blue collar workers, who were installing solar technology across the United States of America. President Trump gives press conferences talking about the 50,000 coal miners, those blue collar workers. Well, what about the 137,000 electricians and roofers installing solar last year? Do they not deserve to also be given the pat on the back, the thank you from America, the, the, the message that we are going to continue to encourage them? The same thing is true in the wind industry. The number of steel workers, the number of other workers who have to do that work. And in each and every one of your industries, the same thing is true. This clean energy revolution is the greatest blue collar job creation engine in generations in the United States of America. And we're gonna fight here in this building and on Capitol Hill to make sure that this revolution continues to be protected because the planet is warming there are no emergency rooms for our planets. We have to engage in massive preventative health care for this planet. 2016 was the warmest year ever recorded. Topping 2015, which was the warmest year ever recorded. Topping 2014, which was the warmest year ever recorded. 16 of the 17 most uh, dangerously warm years ever recorded have occurred since the year 2000. This is real. Donald Trump is in denial. Uh, by 2030 at existing projections, Mara Lago will turn into Mara, Mara Lagoon down uh, in Florida. That's how fast the tides are rising. So it's up to us to do the job, up to you to continue this incredible revolution. Scott Scar, you have been my friend now, when he mentioned when he came into my office in Congress in my first year, that was 41 years ago that he came in. And the industries had their, had their foot on the neck of the renewable energy revolution. We could have had the revolution 40 years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago. But now it is unstoppable.
and we're just going to have to fight them because they're coming at the state level to try to stop it. They'll be coming at the federal level to try to stop it. But with your help, we are going to be successful. Thank you all. It's my great honor to be with you. Yes.